I'm Stephen Holgate and I'm a Medical Research Council Professor in Immunopharmacology at the University here in Southampton. My research over the last 30 to 40 years has focused on lung disease and in particular asthma and allergies and my more recent interests have been focused on air pollution and its effect on human health. Over the last 20 years I've been pretty active in the policy area across the interests of my research, asthma and respiratory medicine, but also air pollution involved, especially uh, in the committees that have been advising government on air pollution policy, but also on chemicals in the environment and the environment more broadly, and how human beings interact with the environment, which of course is one of the big things that is going to inform policy going forwards. Working in a university for over 40 years, Evidence, of course, is what we all try to generate and generate for public benefit. So the organisations that I've been able to interact with really have advised government in these particular fields of air pollution and chemicals in the environment, particularly the Committee on the Medical Effects of Air Pollutants, the Advisory Committee on Hazardous Substances and the Expert Panel on Air Quality Standards. I've also had the very good fortune of giving evidence in parliamentary sessions, particularly to House of Commons and House of Lords Select Committees, on very specific issues. And of course all of these bring you into contact with a range of different people, and all the time one's learning, learning, learning about what other people are doing in your area, which informs your future interest in delivering policy that's going to be useful to people. So my original research uh, looked at different air pollution uh, and different air pollutants on asthma and particles of course were the main ones we concentrated on and as we're going forwards now with the new environment bill where particle legislation is being looked at very carefully in human health I've got the great pleasure of interacting with government at a variety of levels to try and make sure we improve the standards we currently have and to ensure that public health is protected as much as possible. Currently, I'm actively involved in helping government with the Environment Bill and coming up with statements that look at the legally binding air quality standards that we've got to work towards. Now, this is really difficult. So obviously what one can do here is to give one's experience from all the various interactions you've had in my particular field of air pollution and then to ensure that if statements are come, do come forward, you have the opportunity of being able to input constructively in a language that people can understand. I've had the great pleasure of chairing the main panel in Health and Life Sciences for the Research Excellence Framework and during 2014 we had case studies, hundreds of them, to look at about how research translates into public benefit. And of course policy development is all part of that. And once you start beginning to realise how exciting and how stimulating and how important it is that the research we do gets out there and helps humans live on this earth, then you begin to realise that everyone has a responsibility to inform policy. And I would suggest that academics at all levels explore the opportunity of inputting into policy development, which can be at the local level or at the national level or a combination of both. Every little bit counts. Thank you.